Hey everybody, welcome to the Root Household. Um, this is the first video I'm doing for uh, YouTube. And I'm kind of doing it gorilla style. I'm doing it on my um, Android phone. So, you know, if I stutter a little bit or if the image isn't that great, please forgive me. It's my first video. Um, as you can see, we're decorated for Halloween. We've got the little webbing up here on our archway to our living room. And as you can see, kind of in the living room, you'll see it maybe better when I get a little bit closer. Um, Got our Halloween decorations up. You can see kind of the skeleton sitting by my games and DVDs. Um, I thought for my first video what I might do is show you um, some of the uh, DVDs I have in my uh, collection. Um, I'm not going to show you every DVD I own, but just some cool, you know, sets or really good versions I have. Um, so let's get started here. I'm just going to kind of walk in here. Ooh, I got to point this out too. Um, this is um, this is a Pac-Man rug that my wife and my mother-in-law um, got for me a couple of years ago, um, around for Christmas, and um, I guess it was pretty hard to find. It was pretty expensive. It's actually from the 1980s. Um, actually, it's part of a board game. Um, obviously, I don't have any of the pieces of it, but that's I saw it in another um, the Angry Video Game Nerd um, has it. That's where I saw it, and I really really liked it. So she, bless her heart, um, she. Um, found it for me, and um, I love you very much for that, honey. Thank you. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd point that out before I get to the main event here, so let's head over here. And here kind of is a wide shot of my uh, DVD collection. Um, as you can see, I own quite a few. It's DVDs and Blu-rays. Um, I just got a Blu-ray player in December, um, so I'm starting to build my collection of those. Um, I'm not going to rebuy every movie I have on... Um, Blu-ray, um, you know, that would just be ridiculous, too expensive, but, I, you know, some of the major ones, like, um, any ones I can get in a set, I'm trying to rebuy on, uh, Blu-ray, and probably, obviously, newer movies that I don't own yet, I'll buy on Blu-ray as well, so I'm gonna get started here, uh, by the way, forgive the, um, drape over the top, like I said, we're decorated for Halloween here, I'll show you, we got the top shelf, and I want to point out my wife's, uh, village here that she made, give her... Give her some credit here. It's very nice. Um, we've built a collection of uh, nice little gravestones, skeletons, you name it. Um, half of it lights up at night, obviously. I'm not going to plug it in right now because it's too light out to show you, but uh, that might be for another video. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to this here. So I thought I'd show you some of what I have. I'm going to start from the top here. I'll lift this up here a little bit. Oops, sorry. There we go, get going here. All right, so as you can see, some of the movies that I do own, some of these are inherited from my wife too. Um, not all of these are mine, um, but first Blu-ray I have. Hey, uh, hi everybody. <laughs> um, is a uh, 300. Um, it's a pretty simple movie, but it's really, really good. Um, I really liked it a lot. It's, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's a man's movie. Yeah, yeah, that's what everybody says. But my wife really likes it, too, so. Um, but she she likes manly movies, you know. She's she's awesome. Um, this looks really good in Blu-ray. Um, yeah, I highly recommend it. Um, a lot of good special features and everything on it. And, yeah, it, it was made for Blu-ray, so 300, yeah. Okay, going along here, I have right here, I'm not going to pull every movie out that I have, just the ones that um, are really want to show off, but I have um, the first three Aliens mo movies, um, Alien, Aliens, and Alien 3, um, especially the first two, the first two are classics, um, um, everybody seem, everybody's favorite is Aliens, um, yeah, and, and I would have to agree, that's probably my favorite too, um, I haven't seen Alien 3 too many times, but, um, it was a little bit less epic, I would say, than the, th the second one, but nonetheless, you know, it was a decent movie, I, I don't own the, um, fourth one, uh, Resurrection, generic title, woohoo, um, I don't own that one, uh, it didn't come in the set, and I don't care to own it, so, there you go, alright, moving along here, um, got the Avengers, on DVD, and this is before I had a Blu-ray player, so that's why I have it on DVD. Awesome movie, of course. Um, culmination of all the um, 
the Marvel Universe, the first round of Marvel Universe movies. Um, like I said, very, very good movie. I recommend it to anyone who likes superhero movies. All right, gonna try to. We'll set that up there for now. And then, of course, I got the Back to the Future 25th anniversary on DVD. Um, I got this for Christmas a couple years ago. Three of the best, one of the best trilogies around out there. And um, yeah, this is a great set. A lot of good extra extras and uh, bonus features. So we'll put that back there. I'm just going to set it down. I apologize, this top shelf's a little bit tightly packed. Um, then I've got, uh, let's see, I've got the original Tim Burton Batman, and then a couple buys. I have Batman Begins and The Dark Knight on Blu-ray. Awesome. Those look really, really good in Blu-ray. If you have a Blu-ray player, I recommend you get them. Uh, i got the Blade Trilogy right there. All three of those. Um, first two are pretty good. The, sec the third one's eh, okay. Not too bad. Um, I've got Brave on DVD, the Disney Pixar Brave. Pull that one out there. That's actually not a bad movie, although a lot of critics didn't like it. Um, I thought it was, you know, I thought it was okay. I thought it was pretty good. My wife really likes it, too. Um, the animation is really, really good. It's some of Pixar. I think it's some of Pixar's best. Um, yeah, it's a good movie, you know. Give it a watch. I'm definitely glad I saw it. Okay, next we, then we got Braveheart. Um, I'm going to move down a little bit here. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm going to try not to do every single movie here. Um, Clerks, the 10th anniversary edition. This is awesome. This has several cuts of the movie. Um, it's got a director's cut and, you know, it's got the theatrical cut. Very, very um, gritty comedy. Very funny. Um, some of the some of the jokes might be a little intense for some people, but I, I really like it as my type of humor, so I love most, if not all, of the Kevin Smith movies, so that's a good one. Alright, moon down, let's see. Cloverfield. Um if you like giant um monster movies, that's a good one. Um, like Godzilla. Um Commando, that's one of the one of my favorite Arnold movies along and right next to that on Blu-ray I have Conan, the first Conan movie. This one is really good right here. Um, much better than obviously its sequel, Conan the Destroyer, and uh, don't even bother with the remake. Alright, got then we got the Of the Dead movies. You got this is a good set for Night of the Living Dead right here. This is a good release of it. And the main reason I say that is because it has a commentary track. From uh, Mike Nelson from uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. It is hilarious. He riffs on this movie. Oh, it's really, really good. And I actually cannot watch the movie without that um, commentary anymore because um, it is just slow as shit, really, honestly. Um, it is dull. It's uh, kind of boring. But, you know, it has an important place in the zombie genre as being pretty much the first movie to invent what we know for zombies today. Uh, original Dawn of the Dead, really good movie. Day of the Dead. See, this one is, I think, really underrated here. Um, I think it's one of the best of the Dead series. And um, there's, um, it has one of the best uh, non-monster um, villains in the movie, Captain Rhodes. And um, just a great villain. And uh, he gets his really good in the end. And even then, he... For those of you who've seen the movie, you probably know what I'm talking about. He gets off one of the best one-liners... Um, as he's um, getting what's coming to him, so that's a good movie. That's really great. Captain Rhodes, I salute you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Then we have Land of the Dead, which is a lot of people thought it was a. Some people thought it was going to be a sequel to. Well, I'll get onto it here in a second. The um, Dawn of the Dead remake, but it's actually a sequel to Day of the Dead that came out in uh, 2005, and it's you know it's a pretty good movie. And then we've got Diary of the Dead, which is. Um, Came out in 2008. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, but that, um, it's more in the style of Blair Witch Project. It's kind of a first person. And it's perfect, too, because it's uh, done by film students. Um, it's about film students, and they're kind of filming what's going on as it's happening. And next to that, I have the 
Dawn of the Dead remake, which came out in 2004, and that is one of the best remakes of a horror movie I have ever seen. Um, it's entertaining. Um, I mean, there's not all that much to it, but it's, you know, it's fun. Okay, and moving along here, uh, I've got the original um, uh, Dracula movie that came out in 1931. Um, that was a big year for the Universal Monster movies. Um, and right here I have the Evil Dead movies. Um, this is Evil Dead 1, and it comes in a Book of the Dead case. It's awesome. It's got a really nice rubbery feel to it. And when you open it, like so... By the way, I'm sorry if this is going off camera a lot, but I'm kind of doing this one-handed here. Um, a lot of cool illustrations. And, yeah, right there. Very nice. Very nice. Very creepy. Yeah, ooh. And there's the disc right there, and the menu, and the, um, chapter list right there. And these I'm just going to set kind of right here. And then, in a similar case, is the sequel... Evil Dead 2. So you see that one has a little bit more pronounced face, different color, green. But the cool thing about this one is if you squeeze it, it screams at you. Rawr! Yeah, awesome. Um, so I got these on Amazon a couple of years ago. Good price on those. Yep. Very, very good. I love these movies. I have actually not seen the remake of Evil Dead yet. Some people say it's pretty good, but I don't know. No Bruce Campbell? Eh. No thank you. I mean, I guess he has a cameo in it, but that's about it. Um, and of course, Army of Darkness, I have the Screwhead Edition. Um, and this version actually has the um, Hail to the King ending, which um, I guess was omitted from some DVD releases. But this this is a really good set right here. Um, yeah, that's a good one right there. Especially since it has the, like I said, has the Hail to the King ending. All right, moving down a little bit. A uh, couple movies here. Got the original Frankenstein movie. Uh, Ghostbusters 1 and 2. A lot of people shit on the second movie, but, you know, it's not that bad. I mean, it's not as good as the first one, but... Um, then I've got my Godzilla collection. Um, yes, I did like Godzilla movies when I was a kid, and, uh, you know, sue me. Um, but... I don't have every movie on DVD because a lot of them are actually not on DVD. Um, some of them, or some of them, were released on DVD a few years ago, but they're hard to find. Um, I've got this Godzilla collection right here. These two, um, they have um, pretty. It has the English and the Japanese versions of a lot of the Godzilla movies, including the original. It's a really, really good set. Uh, and then I have Destroy All Monsters, which didn't come, oddly didn't come in this set, but it came out as a separate release. Um, I have Godzilla vs. King Kong. Now this is an interesting one. I got this one on eBay. I guess you'd call it kind of a bootleg. It is the Japanese version of the movie, which I think is infinitely better than the U.S. version. They chopped that one up really bad. Put that right up there. I'll sort these out after. Um... And here's my cop wife's copy of Gone with the Wind. Now, a lot of people who know me probably wouldn't think that would be my type of movie, but I like it. It actually was a good movie, and um, I'm actually going to turn around here. My wife has a really cool um, collectible from that movie here on the wall. This, I believe, is an original poster from the movie. Um, she got it on eBay a few years ago, and... I don't know how much she paid for it, but it was quite a bit, and it's all framed and everything. So, yeah, that's a pretty cool collection. My wife loves this movie, and I like it, too. It's not, I mean, you know, some people crap on it because it's so long, but I, I really like it. It's one of, one, of the, one of the old greats, I guess. Okay, and finishing out the top row, I've got, this is a good set for the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, my, one of, probably my favorite spaghetti western, my favorite of the Dollars trilogy. Really good movie. And then, of course, at the end, I've got The Goonies, classic Classic Goonies movie. Yes, gotta love it. Classic 80s movie, I meant to say. Excuse me. Of course it's a Goonies movie. Um, so anyway, that is my top shelf, and that is part one of my uh, DVD collection. Um, I will be doing another video soon on part two, my second shelf. Um, so stay tuned to that. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. Thanks.